Hola, and welcome back to my channel. Oh, uh, channel. Oh, uh, channel. It doesn't help to be stroking the dog like a Bond <laughs> villain when you can't see the dog. <laughs> I was stroking the dog like a Bond villain, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Instead of a fluffy cat, you have a big head dog. Big head dog. Ginormonogan. That was uh. horrible out of context. <laughs> So, we're about to watch episode four of the live-action One Piece. Uh, something that they've been doing every episode that I have not brought up is uh, I absolutely love the uh, fact that the skull changes every episode. In the O, the skull? Yeah. So, we had Straw Hats, Buggy, and Usopp so far. I'm assuming this time is going to be the Black Cat Pirates. Yep, yeah, this one's episode four. The Pirates are coming. And we, at the end of the last one, found out about Clahador. Right. And so, for some reason, Kobe's there. For some reason. Don't know that reason. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, one of my favorite moves that Luffy's done in the entirety of One Piece is the Gum Gum Bell. So if they don't do Gum Gum Bell, I'm going to be upset. And also, uh, I need Django. I thought, right... I've been telling that since the beginning. Yeah. I really like him. Um, but I thought your favorite was... N no spoilers. Never mind. Oh, no. It's Gum Gum Bell. Firework? I do like Firework, and I like UFO, but I love Gum Gum Bell. Okay. And I love the fact that you can do it in the video games a lot, but he doesn't do it enough in the manga or the show. Yeah? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. So, okay. Well, let's get her started, I suppose. And Episode see. four. The pirates are coming. Four. Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully it's better than the last it's one. It's hard to not be better than the last one. Yeah, that's true. I mean, true. we are talking Netflix live action anime. It's possible to be worse. True. I'm just hoping it's not. Yep. So, we shall see. We'll be back. <laughs> okay. So, we just finished uh, episode four. Yeah. <laughs> Josh is a little upset. How? <laughs> How are you going to do my boy Usopp so dirty? All right? Buggy? I love that. Buggy being absolutely disgusting and funny in Fire Marshal Jim Car uh, J uh, Fire Marshal Bill Jim Carrey levels. Love Buggy. Uh, Captain Kuro. Every moment Captain Kuro was on screen, he understood the assignment. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Absolutely amazing Captain Kuro. Here, hold that. Ugh, my arm's tired. I get the aesthetic that they're going for, for a horror movie-esque episode, but let me ask you, if you're installing a security system because you think that pirates might come, it's a real possibility, a pirate's coming to your house, so you install a security system, and all you gotta do is bust out this wheel that looks like it belongs on a pirate ship. I guess that makes sense because they're shipbuilders. Right. In some stupid way. Some very, very stupid way. But, <laughs> you turn this wheel, it brings down the shutters to make sure no pirate can get in. Even though pirates got in extremely easy. Easily. It, it wasn't even, like, a thing of, like, Zus, the strength of Zoro! Like, he didn't have to grunt and bear, and Luffy had to help him lift it. And some epic music playing in the background. And he went, Rrr! nah, he was just... So you, you, your, your shield did nothing. Nothing. And then they didn't lock the doors. Just stupid stuff. Uh, why did it make the lights flicker? I don't know. I <laughs> don't know. Hey, there's stuff going on outside. You think it'd be a thing of, like, soft music plays. Like, if you're rich enough to install a security system where two different spots in your house, you turn a wheel and shutters go down over all the windows. Cheap shutters, for the record. But shutters go down over all the windows and the doors. 
you think like soft music would start playing, not the lights would start flickering for absolutely no reason. That was that was stupid. Um, how are you gonna turn one half of the Meow Band brothers into a girl? I don't know. How are you gonna turn both half, both halves of the Meow Band brothers? Stupid. Butchie. Butchie. My boy Butchie. We didn't get a catapult not once. Nope. Sierra Sa- Siam did get the aha. Uh-huh, I stole your swords, but only stole one. Like the cool thing in the manga and the anime was, haha, I got all three. What you gonna do without your swords? Got one, and then they still got their butt beat, and they didn't have like the claws on the ends of the gloves. And these big poofy gloves. But no claws. He had, uh, I can't think of what they're called. Bob's got, like, my friend's got a bunch of them. I know that Kano from Street Fighter uses them. They make them all the time Sword. in Forged and Fighter. No. Start the key. With a K. With a K. <laughs> That's not a letter, Josh. <laughs> Curl knives? I don't know. But just... Usopp got hit once and then spent the whole rest of the episode just down being comforted by uh, by the women he was supposed to be protecting. Yeah. If you've watched the anime, if you read the manga, like the whole thing was he got the crap beaten out of him and still tried his best to stop him. And that's when Luffy's like, that's my boy right there. That's God Usopp. Yeah. No, nah, he got hit once and then was like, mm, just going to hang out over here with uh, with Nami. And this 40-year-old sick lady. <laughs> yeah. Mary just died. died. Just died. Just died. And then they're like, oh, we're going to name this boat after this dude that we knew for a whole five seconds. Done for. Like, it'd be different if uh, Kaya would have been like, I'd appreciate it if you named it the Going Mary after the memory of Mary. Because he was a close family friend. And I knew him for the last 35 of my 40 years on this planet. But no, Luffy's like, ah, oh, dude, you know that sheep dude that we saw once for 15 seconds? Let's name the boat after him. Yeah. And they then, just as easily could have named the boat Boodle. They spent more time with Boodle. They did. But Boodle never introduced himself to them. They could have named him Richie. Awesome, I'm upset about that. This is going off the rails. It, they're trying to do too much too fast. They're cutting out too much stuff. For some reason, they're include. So, at the end of this episode, it's revealed that Garp <gasps> is Luffy's grandpa. Monkey D. Garp is Monkey D. Luffy's uh, grandpa. That's a spoiler. What part? That Garp is Luffy's grandpa. They just said it. I know, but... We're reviewing the for, episode. For the manga, that's a huge spoiler. Yeah, because that doesn't happen until Water 7. What they're doing right now, it doesn't happen until water... They cut so much stuff, and yet we're bringing stuff from what... (sighs) (laughs) I'm sorry. It's a mangled mess of stuff. It's fallen off the rail. Once again, though. It started off as one piece, and it's now... We're going to give everything right now. 16 pence. So, we yeah. can give you future stuff. Like, if some odd world where uh, any of the cast members of One Piece happen to see this, uh, let me just say, number one, <laughs> uh, Monkey D. Luffy, killing it. He's understanding the assignment. Zoro, uh, you even said while we were watching it, he's growing on me. He's doing good. He is. Uh, Nami, you're trash. Uh, and uh, Kaya, um, remember... You don't have to be all the way to 50 to AARP, but you're mostly there. <laughs> you're and, mean. And for the love of all things, holy cat and curl, nailing it. He understood the assignment. He got an A plus on the assignment. And I will point out, I got my gum gum bell. You did. That that made up for 80% of what they did to the Meow Band Brothers. Not all of it, because I love the Meow Band Brothers. And, and... There's no Django. No. Since the beginning of me finding out that it was going to be one alive, One Piece, I was like, 
wonder how we're going to do that. Django. I wonder how we're going to do that. Django. What's going to oh, go man, on? What's up with Django? Dude, we got to do. Now, here's the thing. If they, we get to the Baratier and we get Lieutenant Fullbody, I don't give a flying crap about Lieutenant Fullbody if he doesn't eventually have adventures. I'm sorry. If he doesn't eventually have adventures with Django, I don't give a flying crap about Lieutenant Fullbody. True. But now that that's been pointed out, I don't know if Lieutenant Fullbody's in this. Probably not. I don't even know how we're going to see Sanji. Like, are we actually going to go to the restaurant? I've seen the set for the Baratier. He's got to be at the Baratier. This whole time has been... We met Zoro and Nami at the exact same time. In the exact same bar. I'm hurt. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, the first episode, I was like, you know what? This, this is this is pretty good. In the second episode, I went, oh, look what they did with, uh, with King of the Pirates, Buggy D. Clown. They did that. Amazing. Ooh, ooh, question for you. Who's been better so far? Okay. Okay. King of the Pirates, Buggy D Clown, or understood the assignment, Black Cat, Cat and Kuro. Kuro. You think Kuro? <laughs> you just you you would hurt you too much to say anything positive about Buggy. <laughs> All right. So that was episode four of Netflix's live action One Piece. Uh, if you're still watching. Um, why? <laughs> not good. I mean, not, I, I, I'm going to watch the not. next episode. And, uh, if it's as bad as this one, I might be tired. Like, my plan <laughs> was to watch all of One Piece. I've sat here all week at work, working 10-hour days, like, whoo, I can't wait till Thursday. And I'm like, you know what? A good night's sleep sounds... <laughs> Sounds nice, you know, wake up uh, re- refreshed, relaxed, and ready to go for tomorrow. He canceled d d for this. I canceled d d <laughs> for this. I straight up told some of my friends that I like One Piece more than you. I'm going to be watching live action One Piece. And now I'm watching this and I'm like, I could have been doing d <laughs> We We could have had it on the background. I could have had it on the background and then just like turned around and be like, ooh, Captain Curl's real good. Okay, let's go back to D D. And then like just like I, I know that my friends love me enough that they would have not pointed out the Meow Band brothers, knowing how much I like them. They would have been like, nah, pay attention to what's going on. Roll some roll some dice, Josh. I'd be like, Oh, but I hear the I heard them say Butchie is Butchie's here. I'm behind me. Nah. Nah, it's a it, it, Netflix messed up and went to a different show. Is it? It's uh, Stranger Things is currently on. <laughs> Why? Ho- just... It's it's going crazy. So I got this theory. If you read the if you read the manga or the anime, I had this theory that the reason that Luffy it continuously gets stronger is because he's actually still hypnotized by Django. So like, if you're watching the live action, you're like, oh, I don't know if I really want to watch the manga. First off, uh, read the manga, watch the anime. It's way better than the live action. You get a lot more. You get attached to a lot of the characters more. But at one point, Django hypnotizes the crew to get stronger. And Luffy also gets hypnotized with them. Because they say if you're stupid, you get hypnotized easier. Yep. So I have a theory that the reason that Luffy keeps getting stronger so fast is because he's still hypnotized by Django. (laughs) Because he's that stupid. You get the absolute most unflattering angle. Yeah. (laughs) Your hand is just slowly been fine. I don't want to hold it, but obviously. I will, okay. Here. This is why I'm a. This is the best angle in the world. Let's uh-huh, do it from uh-huh. here. This is why I'm a producer <laughs> and not. Oh, yeah. Let's show my. What? My cleavage. My hairy cleavage. What's up? Oh, that that's going to get us. That's going to get us taken off. I mean, it's better cleavage than mine. <laughs> All right. So that was episode four. Um, that's halfway through One Piece, and we got two great episodes, and we have two not uh, so good. dog crap episodes. Like I, 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 I should put this into perspective. It's still better than the live action Bleach, or the live action Full Metal Alchemist, or the live action Dragon Ball Z, 
Odie. Odie's just going to town. I mean, so you, don't even, you don't even you don't even understand. You, if you have your volume too high, that's what you're hearing. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's go to the next thing. Bye.